NBA Live is making a comeback next year. 2K knows they need to start making smooth moves. Why not select Chris Smooth to be the cover athlete for NBA 2K13? I was given over a hundred different covers to choose from, but I narrowed it down to the number of championships Michael Jordan has. Not one, not two, not three, but six. Michael Jordan ain't LeBron James, baby. <laughs> Let me know which one you think is the best so I can tell 2K. Are you ready for the playoffs? I'm ready. And that's what these videos are going to show you. I'm moving without the ball. You don't see that happening much, do you? You don't see a lot of people moving without the ball. It's looking like I'll start my playoffs when the real NBA playoffs start. And is that Chuck Hayes getting an offensive rebound? You know that's a highlight play when Chuck Hayes does something good. You know I got to put that in. You know I got to include that play. And I'm abusing the smooth step in this game. I was smooth stepping all over the court. And originally I planned to be in the playoffs, I think at the start of April, but... It just didn't happen. I haven't been playing 2K lately. And look at that oop to the beat. I thought I told you I was going to start ooping all of my teammates. He didn't even have to jump. Looking like the black Yao Ming right there. <laughs> and look at that foul. Everybody's hacking Chris Smooth on his way to the rim. But if that beat could be our Yao Ming, we're going to go far. And here's another smooth step. I'm just abusing the smooth steps in this game. And so this is just more games that haven't been released yet on that mean winning streak. And I thought, why just skip these games? Because there's going to be some things that happen in the games coming up. It's like there's no reason to skip these plays. Great basketball plays are happening. And instead of skipping them, why not show? Why not show my progression? That's my first ever alley-oop that I received. And I did not slam it down. I have an 80 dunk now. I think it's my vertical. But look at that smooth to smooth connection in reverse. I need to figure out what attributes I need to upgrade so that in the playoffs, we can do the smooth to smooth connection in reverse. That's going to be crazy. And that was a bad foul because now we're only up by two points. And look at what I do. I trust my teammates. I run a play for Crawford. He's wide open for three. Gives us that cushion. I trust my teammates. And I put them to way. I, I put them to bed at the free throw line here at the end of the game. You know the rules. We can't lose with the shoes. I know eventually we might. But until we do, I'm just going to be able to say that. We can't lose with the shoes. Two turnovers, 15 assists, 57% shooting. Congratulations on clinching a playoff spot tonight. It's been a long season, but in many ways, it's only just beginning. What kind of an impact do you think you'll have individually on this team's postseason chances? Well, we all play an important part, myself included, and it's definitely not just about me. Each one of us has to step up and fill our role. If we can't do that, there's no way we can get anywhere in the postseason. All I can tell you is that I'm going to do everything humanly possible to help my team win games. If that's not enough, so be it. I was pretty humble in that press conference, but there's going to be another press conference coming up later where I'm not so humble. <laughs> not so humble. Oh, I kicked my leg out when I slammed that one. And you already know what's going to happen when you see the inbounds. You know, you know I'm going to grab it. You know I'm going to go down the court and I'm going to I'm going to slam it down again. And in this game, I started using some of the new moves, some of the dribble pull-ups. I have a great dribble pull-up now, and so I start using. There it is, right there. You gotta foul me. They didn't know what they didn't know what hit, and they were like, "Oh, he's stepping back. Oh no, I gotta foul him. I can't let him score on me like that. That's too fancy." I don't care. I get free throws. I'm not gonna miss those free throws. Moving without the ball again, wide open, you're too far away. Splash! On the break, they think I'm going to do a layup. I just stop. My jumper is unbelievable. They thought I was going to do a layup. I can only do layups? Nah. Nah, now watch this. The right side is open. Look at that. Step back. Ooh, that's sexy. Oh, ho! That's sexy. 
Those dribble pull up moves, man. They don't know what hit him. They don't know what hit him. The playoffs are going to be crazy. And right there, I tried to do a fancy pass or something, but I just passed it like a little new. In this game, even though it's close right now, it's going to end pretty easily. So I just start going into fancy montage mode, and they just left the paint wide open. I can't believe it right there. So I'm going to do another one of those dribble pull-up moves. Look at that. Another step back. Oh, that's that's just beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. I just kicked my foot out. Now look at this. Look at this one right here. Step back. Hezzy. Another step. Oh, man. At the free throw line. <laughs> At the free throw line, I'm abusing the moves. Now I'm stepping back, driving to the right, and I was going to do a smooth step, but I got fouled. The fans are chanting MVP, but I don't think I'm going to win it because the Heat have like 10 more wins than we do, so LeBron's probably going to get that. Only one turnover in that game, 54% shooting, 11 assists. Look at that still. I tipped that pass like a boss, and you know I'm going to slam it down, and it almost came out. I haven't seen one of those animations in a long time. And this right here. Oh, you reach. Ah, teach. <laughs> Did you see that crossover move? Oh, you shouldn't have reached. Look at that behind the back. Then I take it like I'm going to go right in and I just. Ooh, hoo -hoo. that was net. Oh, look, look at that. He and then I finished the play. Good thing that I finished this play right here. If I didn't finish that play, it wouldn't have been a montage-worthy moment. But you see, even if I was in the playoffs right now, it wouldn't be a good idea to skip these games. Look at these basketball plays. This is great basketball. To just skip all of these plays would be a new move. You got to see this stuff. The more videos, the better, right? I'm not even going to lie, though. There are some plays that I haven't shown, and that's mainly because I want them to be a surprise when I put out that montage. And actually, when I think about it, I have a lot of work to do when it comes to that montage because I have so many plays. I have to decide what to do. I got to. Oh, look at that fake pass. I faked the pass to Jay Smooth, and then I still passed it to Jay Smooth. Look at that. Left side of the court's wide open. You got to foul me. I'm abusing the dribble moves, and I haven't even upgraded the abilities yet. And now that my dribble pull-up is that great, the next thing I'm going for are the size-up moves because, oh, look at that. Look at that smooth step because those size-up moves, and I'm not even looking at the basket. That's a no-look layup. I wasn't even looking at the basket on that layup. But when you upgrade your size up moves, I think you get new animations. I'm pretty sure you do. It's either the size of it or hesitation. I'll figure out which one it is. But it's time for me to get some new hezzies and new size up moves because the ones I have, we've been seeing them for so long, and I think it's time. And look, look, look at this move. He got so faked out. <laughs> look at Chris Smooth shot clock cheese. Pump fake. He puts his hands up one time, and then he jumps the second time. Look at that. Watch his hand. His hand's gonna go up. And then he's like, oh, wait, up. Oh, then he jumps. Oh, you got faked out. Man, that's a montage worthy moment. Man, the CPU got faked out. And I'm going to do another fake pass. Look, I fake pass it and still pass it to the guy that I faked it to. And it still worked. <laughs> I am abusing in this game. Look at the score. I'm just abusing. And then, oh, <laughs> I was going for the oop off the glass and I ooped it off the rim. So not only have I been faking out the CPU on the other team, but I'm faking out my own CPU teammates because Jay Smooth went for that oop, even though I passed it off the rim. And the reason I've been doing so many fake pass oops in this game is because they've been stealing those passes. They have. They've been stealing those passes. And so I've been faking it, and that's why I have five turnovers. I think I end this game with six turnovers, but that's what happens when it's a blowout game. I go into montage mode, and I'm doing all these fancy moves, turning over the ball recklessly. That's what happens in these blowouts. I think the CPU got sick and tired of seeing me throw oops, so they threw one, and they even reversed that bad boy, but I don't care. We're going to win this game. We're still streaking. We can't lose with the shoes, even though I had six turnovers in this one. Your streak of 20-point games has now reached double digits. Is there something you can point to recently that's allowed you to elevate your game? It's just another step forward in my evolution towards becoming the greatest player of all time. The more experience I get, the more consistent my game becomes, and the more my skill set expands. 
So if you think I've been playing well lately, just wait and see what I got in store for you in the future. That press conference wasn't too humble. The back-to-back -back overtime games are coming in the next video as well as another Lakers showdown. And I think I'm gonna play 2K this week, so I should be in the playoffs and finish those last five games. So stay tuned.